Balance Print series on most frequently asked coding questions. In this series, we are taking a look at a variety of questions that have been asked over the years in interviews and written exams. We are not only giving you the solution but also providing tips and pointers along the way to help improve your coding style. In today's video, we are going to write a program to find the missing element in an arithmetic progression. So first off, let me start off by explaining the arithmetic progression. So let's start off by understanding what an arithmetic progression actually is. An AP is a sequence of numbers in which the difference between two consecutive digits is always the same. So as you see on the screen, the example 3579, the difference between each digit is two. So in this program, we are going to find the missing element of an arithmetic progression. So the basic things that we need to do this is the difference. We need to figure out what the difference is to, to be able to find which actual number is missing. So we have broken down the program into two functions. The first one finds the difference and the second one finds the missing element. Let's jump into the program. So this is the function difference that takes the array or the arithmetic progression as input parameter and will give back the difference. So for example, we have the series 3, 5, 7 and 11. Now here, as you can see, the difference is 2 between the elements. So the missing element would be here, 9. But if the missing element would have been 5, let's say, and we had 7, 9, 11 in the series. To calculate the difference, first we need to find the difference between these two digits, which will come out to be 4. And then we go ahead and check the difference here, which comes out to be 2. Now to be able to correctly identify, which is the actual difference of our arithmetic progression, we take one more consecutive pair and check the difference. And based on which two difference match, we return the value. So in crux, what we are doing here is, we are checking the difference of three consecutive pairs to be able to conclude what the actual AP difference is. So same thing we are doing in our function here. In the difference, we have assigned ARR1 minus ARR0, the difference between first two consecutive elements. Now, in we check if difference is not equal to temp. So temp is the difference between the next two consecutive elements that we have assigned to temp. If both are same, very well, we can return like in this case, both the difference are same. So our AP has the difference of two. But if both are not same, we calculate another difference temp one, the next consecutive set by I plus two and I plus one. And then if difference comes out to be equal to this, like in this case, then we assign this difference to our variable div and finally return it. So let me just reiterate, we calculate the difference between three consecutive pairs to be able to conclude what the actual AP difference is. And then we finally return the same through our function here. Now moving on to find the missing element. So now moving on to find the missing element. Let me take the example again, 3, 5, 7 and 11. So to calculate the next digit of uh, arithmetic progression, the simple formula is first digit, let's say first plus difference that is the difference of our arithmetic progression into the number of mm. so let's now move on to finding the missing element as you can see in this function we have passed three variables first that is the first element of our progression difference that is the difference that we just calculated in the previous function and the arithmetic progression through the array. Now inside we have this for loop to traverse through our array and we are calculating the next element with the simple formula. 
So next element is equals to first plus j minus 1 into difference. So let's say our series is 3, 5, 7, 11. So first is 3. Array length we will calculate through dot length function. And in the next now we will have 3 plus j minus 1 that is 0 into difference that is 2 which will come out to be 3. Now we compare if 3 is there in our series already or not. If it is not there, we print that the missing element is this particular number. Similarly, now to move on to the next number, again we have the same formula. First plus j minus 1 that will be 2 minus 1 into 2. So the next element is 5 which is again correct. Similarly, now when we move to the next iteration, the formula would be this. And finally, in our next iteration, we'll get to see 9. Now we check 9 will not be equal to 11. So we finally print our missing element 9. So now finally, in the main, we simply have an array in which we have four numbers. We have initialized the first element to the variable first. And we have initialized the difference to the variable d by calling the function difference. Now finally, in the main, we have an array with four variables. We have initialized the first variable to the variable first. We call the function difference and also the function missing element to find what the missing element is. Now in the function main, we simply have an array. We initialize the first element of the array to the variable first then we call the function difference to calculate the difference and then we finally call the function missing element and pass all these details into this function fairly simple right just break down your program into logical pieces of functions and actually writing the code will become very very simple so i hope you enjoyed the video and please don't forget to subscribe for many more interesting videos coming up on the channel and if you have any questions related to this particular video or if there is any question that you want us to take up in the series, please leave a comment below or drop us a mail at the email ID mentioned on the screen. Thank you for watching and happy coding.